Welcome to the reflection of the second Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. At the beginning of the Ordinary Time in the Church Liturgical Year, the readings appropriately focus on the theme of hearing God's call, hearing and responding to the Divine Voice, and appeal every journey of discipleship and the Christian life in general. The theme is Hearing God's Call. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, John was standing with two of his disciples, and he looked at Jesus as he walked and said, Behold the Lamb of God. And the two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, What do you seek? And they said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? And he said to them, Come and see. And they came and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, So you are Simon, the son of John? You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel reading narrates yet another call story. This time, John the Baptist directs the attention of two of his disciples to Jesus, calling him the Lamb of God. Captivated by this statement, and driven by curiosity, the two disciples follow Jesus. Seeing their resolve, Jesus asked what they were looking for, to which they responded with an inquiry about where Jesus was staying. The wording of their question contains the key to the story. In the Greek and profoundly symbolic language of John, the verb translated as stay really means to dwell or to abide and expresses the meaning of belonging and a relationship, not a physical location. Thus the disciples did not ask about the location of Jesus' house, but about his abiding in the sense of relationship and belonging. The disciples' inquiry was legitimate. These two followers called Jesus Rabbi, which means teacher, thus showing that they did not understand who Jesus was, but wanted to find out. Jesus invited them to come and see, and John reports that they abided with Jesus. Abiding with Jesus was a life-changing experience. One of the two, Andrew, searched for Simon Peter, his brother, and declared that he had found the Messiah. Andrew no longer saw Jesus as a teacher, but as a God-sent leader and servant. Moreover, he brought Simon to Jesus thus fulfilling the role of an apostle for the first time. Therefore, abiding with Jesus not only transformed Andrew's perception and understanding of the one he followed, but also changed him from a curious seeker into an apostle, now drawing others to Jesus. In the story of the two disciples, the pattern of a call through an encounter emerges. Starting with an initial encounter with Jesus, 
based on curiosity and attraction. Andrew and his companion moved to a deeper understanding of Jesus through an abiding experience of him. That abiding implies a union and relationship, a personal commitment typical of all relationships in this gospel. The followers of John became the disciples of Jesus because they had his own in and through a unique experience of a profound union with him. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the transformative encounter we share with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Just as the disciples had his call, through the profound act of abiding with him, may we also seek the richness of a deeply personal relationship with you. Grant us the grace to abide faithfully so that our journey with you becomes a source of profound inspiration and purpose. Amen. Thank you.